Hey, this is Gavin, and the topic is peace. Um, this peace that I've uh, learned about today, it happened by the grace of God and through the help of prayer, uh, my own and other people's. So the peace can be threatened when there is initiation of confrontation. I can initiate the confrontation and threaten the peace or someone else can initiate a confrontation and threaten the peace and once the confrontation is initiated um, the peace can be preserved with submission and so there can be a kind of interaction which results in submission such that the peace is returned. Now, this is difficult. So, um, I am tempted to be confrontational and sacrifice the existing peace for the future peace. This is what I experience today is the desire to be confrontational in order to sacrifice the existing peace for the future peace. So what happens is I see future peace and I see the need for people to change such that we can have future peace. And I'm tempted to be confrontational such that people will change. Um, and I'm not good at leading. And so, you know, there's a skill in leading people to follow because of good fruit while avoiding unnecessary confrontation. And so a good leader can encourage people to change without being confrontational. And this is a skill that I lack. So when doing confrontation, the leader can do it at the right time and the right place and the right way with the right people such that there has been enough preparation so that the confrontation results in good fruit with regard to peace. Ideally, there is no confrontation. Like if you're like, that's the ideal. Um, and there's a skill in being able to avoid confrontation while helping lead people lead people with such skill that they do not even know that they are being led teaching people with such skill that they do not even know that they're being taught coaching people with such skill that they do not even know that they're being coached so you know I'm interested in connecting with leaders um, my hope is to communicate what I see and a, vis a vision of the future. I can point out the temptation for me to be confrontational and invite leaders to help lead people to transform towards the vision of the future which I've been given. That's... Uh, that's my approach. That's my thinking. And so I need help from leaders who are interested in increasing peace. Um, and I also can practice becoming a better leader. So that was uh, some of what was revealed today. So I've had, I've received like gifts of joy, uh, grace, and peace with the help of God and prayer. Uh, my own prayer and the prayer of others. Um, let me know what you think. I hope these um, these topics are relevant for you and interesting. So to keep it relevant, something everyone can work on is noticing 
the peace, the internal peace, or the lack thereof, and attempting to notice uh, when that internal peace feels threatened and when it has been withdrawn, and then identifying the reason why it has been threatened or the reason why it has withdrawn, and attempting to develop skill at maintaining the peace and increasing the peace. <laughs> so I think that's something we can all work on. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a good one.